Hey, what's up you guys? Hello, it's me, Ali, and today we're going to talk about Unfiltered by Lily Collins. First, I'm going to do a little bit of a spoiler-free review, which is hard with a memoir. I picked this up, even though I'm not really a non-fiction or a memoir fan, because I really love Lily Collins, and I feel that she has something to say about life. She is very young, so it's hard for young people to write memoirs. I know YouTubers and people have done that, but the daughter of Phil Collins, and I know a lot about her, but I can't remember what her mom is right now. I know she was British. I think she was a model and a singer, and so she's lived a beautiful life, and I've she's literally my favorite actress. I've seen almost every movie that she's in, and literally she's the sweetest person, not to mention she is Clary Frey, so that's a plus right there, and if you really are having problems with self-worth or you're having problems with trying to understand how to deal with life and how to deal with problems or how to have a good relationship with your mom or something like that I would really recommend this book I flew through it I think I read it in two hours maybe I actually got early so if you haven't read the book goodbye okay so there was one thing about this book I was disappointed in and it was the fact that there wasn't any like stories from the actual sets like I wanted to hear what it was like becoming Clary Frey or Snow White or even anything like that or even some of her new movies like I wanted to hear more about her acting choices and stuff which maybe she can do in a second book because she's a New York Times bestselling author now but I really enjoyed this talk of just mental health and your mind and how to take care of your mind and how to make your mind feel better because to me I mean I don't know if that's a teenage girl thing but I have insecurities and things and it was cool to see someone that I admire so much also have to do with those and and not be ashamed of those insecurities of those mental issues like the first chapter is about her eyebrows and there's this cute story about how she plucked them off with her mom and I just, I absolutely love the way this book is told. Like, there's little quotes here. And the letter to herself, I wanted to print it out and frame it because I think Lily is very good at walking that line between being confident and being cocky. I think she allows herself to be strong and be confident and be a woman, but she doesn't fall into that, oh, look at myself, I'm so beautiful thing. I absolutely love some of the stories she told. I was super jealous of like when she was talking about oh we were at the Oscars or whatever because um Phil Collins was getting an award for You'll Be In My Heart from Tarzan and I was like wow what a life you live. But I just think her personality showed through. I think the picture doesn't do her justice. She is so much prettier. I mean, this girl is pretty on the inside out. I loved hearing about her tattoos and just how outgoing and beautiful she was. And there's a lot of really cute childhood pictures. Um, and I didn't know she liked to dress up and be basically cosplay characters. It just, it was really interesting to get inside about a person that you like. So if you have watched any of her movies, I don't even think this is a long book at all. How many pages are there? Um, like 219. You can, you can breeze through it. I think it really helped me think about how I think about myself. Am I my worst enemy or am I helping? And that doesn't mean you have to wake up and be like, look at you, you're beautiful. Like I'm not a Jace Herondale. <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed this book. I love Lily Collins. I'm going to scream it down people's faces, so read it.